the change that's happened since design and technology was introduced in schools as core curriculum has been immense. We would not have our creative industries as they are today had we not done that. We led the world in putting it into place. Design is absolutely critical to our growth and our economic success. And that's why design is an essential subject. The Level 3 Food Science and Nutrition course is a really exciting course that attracts students who are interested in food. And that's not just in the cooking, it's all aspects of food in every single area. We have to plan food for different occasions, such as picnics, dinner parties. We want to promote the highest skills possible. So the first thing we do is we take a tea cake, a simple chocolate tea cake, and we work out how to make that look exciting. So we put a coulis over it, we put a sugar cage, we decorate it with different fruits, and we have some amazing different ideas. That also forms a competition, which is always exciting and everyone likes to win. We don't go do trips and visits to places. We've gone to the London Bridge Food Festival. We've met Michelle Rue and he's given the students advice and, on, and watched live demonstrations, visited butchers and other local markets. So it's very hands-on, it's very different and it's not all writing and there's always some fun eating element. If you're looking for a creative and practical A-level subject, then product design is the one for you. By the end of the course, you'll be able to design and make high quality products after developing a range of skills and outcomes that demonstrate your creativity. The qualification is broken into two main sections, technical principles and designing and making skills. For the technical principles unit, we look at materials and their properties, specifically woods, metals, plastics, and some newer materials, composite, smart, and modern materials. For the designing and making unit, we look into design theory and responsible design and inclusive design, and we also look into national and international standards of design. The coursework equates to 50% of the overall mark. You don't have to have completed the qualification at GCSE to take it, and it could lead to a career in design, engineering, or any of the creative industries. A-level textiles is a 100% practical exam with no written paper at the end. It's very creative, it's 3D art, so you have to create something that can be looked at from all angles. So you will be learning everything about textiles, fashion and fabrics, and all elements of these subjects are covered. Fabric printing, pattern cutting, to product construction. In Year 12, you spend two terms building up your textile skills, even if you have no prior experience, and you will be set for many tasks. Then in the end of Year 12 and start of Year 13, you will be spending time on your own portfolio and product. You will decide and choose your own title for this final project. Last year's themes ranged from clowns to forest fires, gaining high A-level grades. Finally, the last one and a half terms are spent completing an external task set by the exam board. And of course this will give you entrance to university, to many and very courses to do with textiles, fashion and every related area. And of course, lifetime careers.